Ding-a-ling. Ding-a-ling. What do you think? I think that card's great. It's a 5-3. For three. I'm Dennis. I'm Oshin. <laughs> We're recording um, another video of Dragon's Draft. You talk about the pack while I look up that thing we said we were going to talk about that I forgot about. What? Talk about, look at the... Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, so we've got Pitiless Horde, which is probably just the pick. Ruthless Deathfang is fine in the blue-black Zack deck. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's also just two colours, that's really not worth it. Yeah. Uh, Carsey Deceiver, I hate that card. Um, it's bad. Hand of Silmagar is just a solid C. Tail Slash is pretty reasonable removal. Mm -hmm. uh, as is Enduring Victory. Wow. We just take the Horde. I've never played with it, so... It's just really it. strong. Like, it's so aggressive. Because, like, if you're taken to life and they're not killing it, you're winning. Well, if you dash it, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> exactly. But, I mean, I'd rather just drop it on turn three. Because if they kill it, fine. We need to thank our Patreon patrons. Yes. Because we said we'd do that, and we haven't. I been. mean, the, the, the issue was we said we'd wait a little while. Uh -huh. uh, so, oh, collect the company. That's a cool card. Um, I think Deathwind is just the pick, though. I agree. We said uh, we'd wait a while. Because, so, because you know. We don't want people just signing up and then dropping out immediately. Um, but then we forgot about it. But then we forgot about it, so... <clears throat> we would like to thank Tragic MTG, Ardak Riley, I believe his full name is, Alex Wolf, Glenn Davenport, Vadim Roginski, Roginski, yeah, who I believe has subscribed and unsubscribed to us about 50 times if, if my email notifications are any indicator. Okay. I think that's just <clears throat> you being shitty. Yeah. Um, our old friend Andrew Chris McStravaganza, of course, mm -hmm. and Oliver Payne. So thank you very much to for, all of you for supporting us on Patreon. If you would also like to support us on Patreon, then there's links to that. It's just patreon.com slash womenslam. Yeah. So that's nice. If you could do that, that would be great. If not, that's also that's fine. That's also fine. Do something else with your money. Um, what do you think of Palace Familiar? Um, well, if we're going to go... If we shouldn't have passed the Ruthless Death Fan if we wanted to go Black Blue. Well, no. We took Pitiless Horde. Sure. Well, then that's also much more conducive with the Black Red strategy. Although it's just a good card anyway. Yeah. So do you think Sabretooth Outrider. Outrider is better than Palace Familiar? I think they're pretty comparable. I would pick this in a vacuum over this as well. Would you? Yeah. The other option is Salt Road Ambushers, which is a good card. I'm more inclined to go towards the, the black-red side. than Black-green is considered, quote-unquote, unplayable. Well, yeah, I really like green-red in this format. People have been really down on green. I'm a big green-red fan. We just picked one. Pick another one. Oh, but anticipate, man... It's not even like that's fine. I was about to say it's not even that good. It's definitely good. Yeah. Put down the wrapper. Oh, sorry. I did this earlier, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. So we'll take it's either that or defeat, and defeat's mediocre. Defeat isn't good. So let's take safety tower. I agreed. Let's just draft a bunch of aggressive dudes and some removal. Awesome. Back to back to the heart of Rakdos. Yeah, back to, yeah, back to the, just a bunch Except of. Except now it's Colligan. Colligan, yeah. I when the set's gone, do you think those names will stick or the Ragnarok ones will come they'll stick? I prefer the Ravnica ones. I do too. Just the sound of them. I think People have been talking about how, like, it depends on, on the spirit of the deck, you know? What? Because, like, if you're playing a blue-white control like deck... Like, an Azorius deck is very different to an Ojitai deck, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, if you're playing a blue-white control deck, that's a that's an Azorius deck. But Gruul and Tarka are the exact same. Yes. And so are Rakdos and Colligan. Yeah. And so are... Um, Dragonfather's strong. Youthful Scholar. We're so passing a pretty, pretty good blue deck. Yeah, youthful. Well, it's just youthful scholar, really. Um, it's probably the Dragonfather Prowler. I'll take the Dragonfather over over our sort of third or fourth four drop. Yeah, no, grab the Dragonfather. That's a little annoying, though. We could have missed a ticket there. It's possible. Should, should we have moved at that point? Should we have taken the youthful? Um, I don't know. Like the youthful scholar doesn't really go in the same deck as any of these cards. It like I suppose it does with Deathwind. But this is hard. Is just efficient. Like I don't think you need anything. Cut yeah. a pitiless horde. Like it's just a standalone threat. Mm -hmm. You don't. You can play a control deck with a pitiless horde in it. Why? Because it's just so good. Why would you want to play a control deck with the? Well, yeah, just slam it. Yeah, you slam it on turn three. Okay. And then kill everything they play and kill them. Okay. Or when you've exhausted their resources, that thing ends the. But game. it drains you for two every turn. Not if you've got to the late game and you can just dash it every turn. I guess. I guess. Yeah, okay. We're really looking for, um... What do we want now? I don't know. I'm trying to think what... I mean, I want Sabretooth that Riders, but I already got two. Um, it's just a sick card. Like, turn... Yeah, it's a very good card. Do we want a Marsh Hulk? Probably. It's a pretty good card. This, this pack isn't amazing. Um, no, no, no. Tridipon's probably the best card in the pack. Yeah. This guy's okay, too. That's, that's the deck I've been drafting when I've drafted this, is the Atarka... 
combat tricks, removal spells, and big guys. Mm. And it's just stick a guy, attack you, tread upon, attack you, uh, draconic roar, attack you, press the advantage, you're dead. It's pretty good. Um, people think green is very underpowered in dragons. Yeah, it, it's not the best. I think it's considered almost objectively the worst. I, I mean that's, but I mean I think I think in a vacuum green is probably the worst color. That's fair. But but, I'm, but it's in my, not not by much. No, the, in, in modern sets, the gap between the best color and the worst color often isn't that big. Yeah, there's some cases where it is. Like in M14, blue is a lot better than anything else. Mm. Do you want an aspirin or a prowler? Probably an aspirin, right? Um, I'd rather another two drop than another four drop. Uh, aspirin coat with venom. That's a combo. Sure, it's not a great combo. People like Coat with Venom a lot more than I do. It's okay. I think I want the Aspirin here. I agree. I, I could go the for Warrior, Aspirin. but no real reason to do that. You this missed is... my funny joke there. Well, you were talking over it. I, I said I could go for an Aspirin. <clears throat> it's not a joke. It is you a just, joke. You just didn't finish the word. But I get it. You get it. Yeah. I suppose if I get it, it must technically be a joke. But... I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, what do we got? Tormenting Voice Magma... Magmatic Chasm is... A card, sure. I think I'd rather the mind. Would you? No, I hate mind rather than limited. All right. Well, that I mean, the pack was kind of just straight garbage. Poop. Garbage. Yeah. You, I would never say garbage in relation to actual garbage. What do you mean, like, like? I would say rubbish. Yeah, I mean the pack was garbage, but I. Would you could take, say it was rubbish. I would take out the. I wouldn't say that though, because that's very English. That's true. Oh, sick. Oh yeah, sick. Wow, defeat. I would definitely take the... Um, Berserker. Although I like the Imp, but I think the Berserker is just a better card. Berserker is definitely a better card. That's a good indicator. Uh, Icebreakers I hate. I don't want, I don't want another Magmatic Chasm. We don't um, want the Virulent Plague. There's nothing you can sell that in against. What's the plan like? I guess I want that. But I, I'm going to put the first one on the board too, because it's not... Ooh, hello. That's playable. That's a, definitely a playable That's an Elite Anticipate too. Oh, what are people, sad. What are people doing? Anticipate's so but good. we just got late black, red, and blue, and a colorless. Like, this is fine, right? Sign of Ugin's just a fine card. I think it's perfectly playable. I Like, uh, you play a lot of the other dragons as just six mana four fours. Yeah, with exactly. Occasion, like, Ruthless Death Fang. The Ruthless Death Fang. We were going to take that, and it could have easily ended up as just a six mana four four. Yeah. With flying. The reason you take it is because that's what the floor is, and the floor is so good. fine. Like, mm. Flores Regent would be nice, but ooh, this pack's bad for us. Uh, Storm Reach? Bro yeah. I mean, what else? Can't splash this. No. Don't want to splash any of these. The pack's kind of crappy anyway, like... To begin with, I don't even like Flores Regent. This, this... It's strong. It's pretty good. It just costs seven. But it, it is also a six, eight. Wow. Well, yeah. That sucked. Let's hope that improves over the next pack or two. What are we hoping to get in pack three then? Heel cutters? Heel cutters are nuts. Immune with lava. Not good. Okay. Pretty unplayable. Ambuscade Shaman. That's, That's super good. solid, yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty good. I like Ambuscade Shaman a lot. So we pick up some more dash. I think, I think it's a very good reason to play the dash deck. Ojitai's command is good. Uh, but do you want an imp, <clears throat> berserker, hand of Simongar? So I think we can rule out the hand of Simongar. Okay, it's between these two then. Uh, the this question, is a better card. This has dash, and the the dash is relevant with ambuscade shaman. <clears throat> it's a four four flyer. It's pretty good for two. Um, although is hardened berserker just enough of a better card? I don't know if it's necessarily a strictly better card. I think it's definitely a better card. I mean, a wind drake's just super solid. It's not quite a wind drake. Can't block. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'd rather have one of each than two of these, I think. Yeah. That's a great card. Pummeler just getting the deck, I think. That's a great card. I like that card a lot. Because a 5 and a 4-5 is super solid. Absolutely. Um, Skirmisher? S a little sad about it, but whatever. What does the Storm Singer do? It's, um... Get something haste. Not good enough. No. Plus this has dash. Mm -hmm. Another Brawler, unfortunately, it seems. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the brawler. We have many three drops now, though. Well, some of them are dashable. What are others? Oh, Magmatic Chasm, Deathwind, and. Dragon Cutter. 
All right, we got a lot of creatures. We have 14. Yeah, we can start looking to pick up... We haven't seen any removal. Like, we would have been... Well, Deathwind. We saw the defeats. <clears throat> but we would have been picking removal a little bit higher. That was say. the same defeat twice. I think, mm-hmm. wasn't it? <clears throat> there is a mythic in this set that I guarantee you forgot exists. Okay. Can you, It is two black black. Can you name it? Um, Risen Execution. Shit. Okay, you didn't forget it. <laughs> People have been playing that. In, Why? Some people have been using it as tech in the Esper Dragon's Mirror. Do you want any of these cards? Uh... Works with Dash. <coughs> it does! <coughs> and Dragon Fighting, man. Hey, that's a six. Six energy. How many Dash creatures do we have? One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six. six. It's pretty good. Six Dash cards. I mean, it's also just a two two. Oh, pardon me. It's a 4-4 four, four if you dash it. Yeah, that's the idea. I'm trying to think. It just works with general haste as well. Yeah, you, it also does some... Oh, that's that's not actually very good because they don't have haste. <laughs> yeah, they're 3-3s the for a little bit. Oh, they work for this. Yeah. And this and stuff. We have two dragon fighters. I'm going to take this. Volcanic Rush. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I just... I wish it was Trumpet Blast, you know? Whoa. I'll play that. Yeah. Coming with that is just terrible, right? I, I think it's entirely unplayable. I think we get more value from passing it in the hopes that someone else puts it in their deck. And casts it, yeah. yeah. Some are probably solid, though. I hate this version. With the dragons they in the background? They look so dumb. And they're like, oh, hello. They're like the worst photoshopped in dragons ever. As opposed to all the other photoshopped in dragons. Do you think they were photoshopped in or photoshopped out? Or was it just two paintings? It's definitely not two paintings. They're identical. Could it be? I mean, they could just be digital paintings. I suppose they must be digital paintings. Right? I, most most magic artists digitally painted at this. Stage. You know what? I'm going to email Philip Berberin and we're going to do a follow. We're going to do a follow. I'm going to do. I'm going to email Philip. I'm going to email Philip Berberin. Don't do it right now. Oh, sick. Yeah, man. I'm going to look up to see if he has an email address. We need more removal. We need considerably more removal. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't think there's many creatures we take over removal in pack three and three. Although, if we open up uh, Caligan. That'd be sick. Storm's Fury. Philip Bourbon. I'm on the Facebook page. <clears throat> uh, tormenting voice, I guess. Yeah. Slides in sometimes, I guess. Peltong Shriek, really? Philip Bourbon. If he's a phone I'm going to call it in the video. Mystic Meditation. Well, you, you know it's, it's five hours ago for him. Or wherever he lives. At least. Yeah. Could be way more. <laughs> yeah, it can be up to what? Eight? Eight, yeah. And what time is it? He's next? from Croatia! No way! Yeah! Oh, give him a buzz! So. Yeah! I wonder if he speaks in Croatian. That's co- that's a fun coincidence. <laughs> oh, we didn't know that. Frontier the Siege. One. Frontier Siege. We could take the Bloodfell Caves. Oh, it's just the Dazzling Wind. 100%. It? Frontier Psychiatrist. Frontier. I showed you that, didn't I? I was miserable. It's fucking I, It actually made me uncomfortable. Yeah, it makes Gracie sick whenever I like, sing it or play it or mention it. <laughs> Frontier Psychiatrist. I can't believe he's Croatian. That's cool. That's an interesting little tidbit of the day. If anyone doesn't know I'm Croatian, which is why that's interesting. Yeah. This is probably a 17 land deck, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Nothing costs more than... Six. Six. But we've only got one six drop. And one five, yeah. Team of Battle Rage seems pretty that's good. It's definitely the pick, I think. Although Merciless Execution is really good. With Dragon Fodder. But I feel like we just have to take the Team of Battle Rage. I think I'd rather have the Battle Rage. It's, it's, just, it's just such a good card. Ooh. I mean, this is pretty analogous to removal in a lot of yeah, ways. Yeah, it does, it does happen like that. Plus... <laughs> I mean, Ambuscade Shaman makes most of our dash guys big enough to trigger the t- trample. All of them. Yeah. Uh, There's just feck all in this pack. Ancestral Vent? I hate that card. Wish it were in white red. Mm. That's a third of those we saw. That's the podcast. Right. We could take the hero's blade. Oh, she won't be joining us next week because he's fired. But, but hang on, <laughs> come on. Any equipment is at least fine. It costs four. Four to equip is a lot. Four to equip is a lot. Taking the vengeance. You think we're gonna bring that in? No, but we're not kind of like we're not playing any other cards. We might bring this in. It's a good card. That is a very good card. Lightning yeah. Shriek is terrible. What's going on? This or this? <sighs> Do you reckon? 
This is kind of good with like Goblin Tokens. Is this? Yeah, more like to do dealt one damage and then finish something off with it. Yeah, that's a many. It's a many two drop though. We can take this. Now you're talking. Well, that's just Vanguard. Do you want the Vanguard because the dash? I think I want the Gorse Swine. Whoops. Really? Why? Because the Battle Rage. Because of the Battle Rage. Well, do you want the dash or the Battle Rage? Those are the questions. I think I want the Gorse Swine. I think I want the Vanguard. Gorse Swine's definitely just a better card though. How about Defector? Do you have a humble, humble Defector? I like that card. Do you want to take that? Um, better than Smoldering and Free. Probably better than this Dragon Fodder. I think we should take this. I'll buy that. It's definitely better than the Smoldering and Free, actually. Take a Smoldering and Free? <laughs> I guess now we'll take the Assassin. Pack is just... What's going on? Um, It's a combo. No. It's a combo. No. It's a combo. I don't want to... Well, I think we should run this. I genuinely think we should run this. Okay. Because of the two dragon fighters. Two dragon fighters and the humble defector. Cool. Mm. Cool. We have cuts to me. E. Do we want dragon rage over that? No. Do you want this? I've never played with this. I've never played with it either. I've never played with that. That seems. That seems. I think we still don't want to play it though. That seems okay. What's the best case scenario on it? I don't get trample. No. So the idea is, whichever one they don't block, you put all the damage into. It's attacking creatures you control. Yeah. So you send with a bunch of guys. They make their blocks. All of them get plus one plus two for each time you spend it. It's a trumpet blast. No, no, no. Until end of turn, attacking creatures you control gain red. Get oh, the creatures gain it. What? Yeah. This is weird. Okay. So whichever one you don't block, you just pour the mana into. Mm. That seems bad. I was okay for playing it when I thought it buffed all your team. Well, if it did that, then it would be like X, uh, give your guys plus X plus X where X is the number of attacking creatures. That's a great card. Plus X plus O. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. We don't probably need this Smoldering Free. Probably don't need... The, oh, the stupid assassin. Yeah. Get rid of that. Then we only need two cuts. You can, we can cut this if you want, but I think it's actually okay in our deck. With the humble defector. Considering, and the dragon fodders, and how poor our removal suite is. That's reasonable. We don't need the chasm or the rush, and then I think we're done. I think I'd rather have the chasm than the rush, but yeah. Now, we could run the chasm over the collateral damage. Let's try our collateral damage. We got two ways to make tokens. We've got the humble defector, which yeah. is that's nice synergy. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Many a creature. It's kind of this is kind Do of. Do you like, remember how to hold priority? I might. You hold like, control. That's <laughs> yeah, I've done it. I've made that mistake enough times. It's definitely nine mountains, right? Uh, let's see. Maybe even ten. I think they might be pushing for ten. Yeah. Now we do have double black hidden double black costs in the dash on. The Piddler Sword. Mm. Still? I think, yeah, this is probably fine. 9 or 10, what do you think? Well, do we have any double red? We have one double Some red spell, red. one double, two double black spells. Well, the double black spell is face down. You can morph that. Okay, so we have one double red spell, one double black spell. Kind of, we can still cast it. So I'll go with 9-8. Okay. Okay, I, I like this. This is interesting. It's, it's, kind definitely, of a, it's definitely a deck. It's kind of a pile. It, it has a plan, at the very least. It's aggressive. In that case, why aren't we running the Volcanic Rush and stuff? Could, well, Volcanic Rush I don't think fits that well. I think a 5 mana card is too much. But we've got two Dragon Fighters. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather have the Chasm. Do you want to chuck in a Chasm over this Cloud of Damage? Probably. We don't like Impact Tremors. Yeah. With all, with how, much, how much Ash we have. We no, have I, I still don't like Impact Tremors. One. Damage. The thing two, is, it, it's never card advantage. Hmm. It's always card disadvantage. One, two, three, four... How much damage do you have to do to six, the face before you're happy paying two mana for that card? Seven, like four. You'd pay two mana for damage to the face? Yes. Would you? Yes, in this deck, absolutely. Really? I don't know if I would. How, 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 how would you pay two damage, five mana to the face? Five damage to the face? Two mana, five I mean, I, I don't play Lava Axe. But that's five. And Lava Axe isn't unplayable. It's not great. I, I don't know if there's really a difference between a two mana lava axe and a five mana lava axe. I said, well, I mean, you can, I'm in limited anyway. Well, you can cast it on turn two if you don't have anything to do. But it doesn't matter until you deal the last point of damage. You know? But that that would be a turn earlier than if it was a five drop. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Let's see how the deck does. 